afternoon. It's February 8th. I think it's Wednesday. <laughs> There's so much information out there, but a lot of it's just rumblings. But there's so much positive and negative. Uh, by the way, I think I'm the Polish bastard. <laughs> I was listening to this little uh, right brain trader and caught it on a recording uh, after the fact. Uh, here, listen to this. You guys might get a laugh. One of my followers. <laughs> That's me. Mr. Pol the Polish dude. He's cool. Polish I dude. Like him. I'm cool. Recently did a video. Uh suggesting that there was a real feud going on between me and Smokey Smoke Lips. I still think there is. And uh, at the end of the day, oh. that guy doesn't take up enough uh, tenure in my life I'm talking about smoking to matter all that much. Hopefully. <laughs> it's not a real feud. It's a sort of a me. All right, so we had a little denial going on there. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely watching the Right Brain, tra brain, uh, right brain Trader because of uh, he, he's talking exactly what I've been talking about, which is this whole Cornwell thing, where he did a tweet uh, that was floating the idea that um, uh, maybe next bridge should go public. Which, for all the, those of you that don't know, that would be a horrible idea. Because, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, w there's so many other factors into that. I mean, what would stop the shorts from shorting again? I, they did it with, uh, what do they call that? <laughs> Torchlight. And we know they did it when they uh, went to uh, when they illegally opened up trade on MMTLP, and uh, not only that, we know that they got information beforehand to go ahead and short the living hell out of it two days before it was supposed to close. But they knew when the closing time was. It was so obvious to them, and it was so obvious to us when we went from twelve, thirteen dollars to all the way down to two dollars and ninety cents moments before. I mean, that was it. And then that night we were told, okay, it's closed. We're not going to get our two days of trading. Shorts don't have to cover. Oh, so then I caught, caught him talking about me on the uh, the Cornwell Cornhole Part 2 also. I, again, I'm the, uh, I, I, I'm the Polish bastard. <laughs> but I love this guy. Florida. Love you guys. I love this guy. <laughs> Who's that Polish bastard there? He, he follows me. Hey, here. Uh, what's his name again? I bet he's on here right now. John Lachowski. Put out a video earlier today. Um. <laughs> Love this guy. You gotta oh, watch his live out. chats. He doesn't post as much as he should lately. What's his name? But he does do a lot of late night live chats. Um, and he gets real. And he knows what he's talking about. There's no doubt. He'll be on here tonight. And I'll call, I'll give him a call out. I'm just, he has a Polish name. He put out a video saying that the uh, the feud between uh, Uncle Smokey and IBT is real. I only you call know, it the way uh, I see it. It was a funny video. I thought it was funny. Honestly, I don't have any pro I don't have any problem with Smokey. I get a little put out by him, but at the end of Another the day, he really consume a very large portion of my life. Don't, like don't get me wrong. I love Smokey. He's got a lot of good things. He's in the fight too. He just comes from a different direction. Um, RBT is probably coming more from the direction I'm coming from, which is I want my money. We all want our money. Um, all right, then th this was a little thing in the background. I was listening to it sound a little negative from the Marine. Uh, he has a lot of positive stuff out there. He's in the same fight as Smokey, but, you know, I think at times... <laughs> It is what it is. He feels the negativity so of... the fuck up. Here's a strong. He wants everyone to jump on Once the boat. Once you realize that they ain't gonna pay you, you'll be where I'm at. And he's a big believer be that we're not ever gonna get our payout. You'll be wanting to show up at Occupy events. You'll be wanting to call your senators and email people. But it's gonna take the rest of you getting to that point. I hate the fact that... that I disagree. I think when... I think when we get our money, that more of us will have more money to jump into this fight a little bit more. You know, uh, he did this big thing at the beginning of his video, too, about how people are buying subscriptions, which I, I wish I could do that. My 5,015 or 20 now subscribers are all from, uh, I've been on YouTube forever, posting tiny farm uh, little videos and all kinds of stuff. And granted, I've gotten a lot more subscribers since I've been talking about MMTLP. But that's just a matter of awareness. It's a matter of a lot of people are out there to listen to one video or another video and they want to know what's going on and 
you know, who can blame them? But let's go more on the positive side. I was listening to, um, uh, uh, Terry had this, uh, I'll let him explain it Let's here. listen to this phone call. Um, yeah, so currently... All right, here we go. Here's the phone call we got to listen to. Um, yeah, so currently we are as well waiting um, for kind of the people in center who make the decision, they just announced they are going to make a, you know, public dis or public announcement at some point where they're going to release the information. Um, but unfortunately, I that's what I've been hearing all over the internet. And again, I try to keep my ear. I listen to everything. And, and uh, that's why our, our BT, they, they all know I listen and they all know sometimes I comment and I shout out about them. Um, and I do believe that we can hit this from a multitude of different directions. Uh, but what I'm hearing out there a lot is that there's going to be a resolution coming very soon, which is probably why, uh, you know, you clicked onto this video is because you want to hear everything there is about that. Let, let's listen to the rest of this phone call that Terry got or was playing off Twitter, uh, which I also got a little bit of Twitter. I'm going to play in this video, too, if you're going to keep if, if you stay with me long enough here. As of now, we are just kind of waiting for that as well as the general public. So. I mean, unfortunately, we don't have any excess info, um, but I mean, they do plan on releasing something at some point. Um, this was kind of all the information, a public announcement. Yeah, so there will be a corporate action that will be released on it. Corporate yeah, action. they will Statement. be releasing or announcing something. Um, yeah. All We're right, waiting so for that announcement. Now, I'm not sure if this was actually a representative from FINRA talking about FINRA's going to make an announcement, or did this gentleman call a broker? So um, I'm going to do a little bit more digging. I think he was talking to happen, someone from FINRA from here, everything that I FINRA caught on. FINRA confirms on the phone today they were making a public announcement. So to me, it sounds like he was speaking to FINRA. So you heard it right there. All right, we got some other interesting... That means all the people in the background that I've been talking about this whole time, you know, behind the offices, and, um, and John Berger, hell, he just posted something recently, too. There is no doubt that the halt was created, uh, has created a massive chill and panic amongst holders. If and when, I like the when part, when FINRA and the DTCC come up with a solution for MMTLP, IMO, some investors will panic and just want to get out of what they consider to be a trap. And uh, under, understandably so, others will sell at their price. And that's what I've been preaching this whole time, is when you see a dollar amount, don't just sell. Come to my channel, or someone else's channel, take a little bit of time to pay attention to what's going on for, to see what the real true value is here, and, and what we can do. I guarantee you they're not going to... Uh, you know, you're not going to just get an offer or you're not, they're not just going to open up the market, you know, uh, which is something that Murdoch was talking about on Twitter earlier. Uh, um, in, well, actually on his, uh, his live chat show, there's a lot of talk about that. Uh, and they get people on there that really are knowledgeable sometimes. And, you know, just sort of a little bit of a Twitter conversation. I was listening to the background. They're going to talk about AST uh, from uh, Robin Hood. Uh, perspective, which also is going to have to do with a lot of the brokers um, as far as, well, what if they open up? There's people saying, well, they can't open up under NextBridge. No, they're not going to. They've had it under different QCIPs, uh, different brokerages this whole time, just in case there is a possibility of it opening up. It might open up in, under the multiple QCIPs, or that maybe they'll put them together, but when this opens up, you need to know what kind of a time frame are you dealing with here, and what kind of a price are you looking at, and don't just hit the sell button because you see an amount in, in your... I mean, you didn't wait this long to take $2.90. Or even if they went back to the 12 or 13 before they did the illegal shorting that they did, that we know that they did with the naked shorts at the last minute. Um, even if that happened, whatever the price may be, it's probably way too low at the beginning. Way too low. And um, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this guy. Hopefully you can. It was a little low when I was listening to it. They did hint to the fact that if uh, it's under their Let me get my name, microphone closer to my speaker. Exactly. They said it would be under Robin Hood's aggregate at AST. And if it's yeah. under, and if it's under Robin Hood's AST, then you can still trade it if it becomes an option. But if 
you transferred out to AST and no longer under Robinhood aggregate, then you would not be able to trade if it becomes an option. That's what I was just saying before. Yeah, I can speak to that. Robinhood saying the transfer to AST is a stall tactic. It's going to get your uh, all your uh, shares okay. are so, going to be um, um, locked off. Basically, what to this point is if is trading opens uh, up, you're done. You can't do anything for, but wait. You know, um, and, and be a little bit over, up, not be able to uh, do anything. Two, two weeks, three weeks, but um, if so, you don't actually have uh, you don't actually have a security in your name if the broker is holding it because if the broker is holding it the broker is holding let's say 100 million shares ast has in their record books that your broker is holding it and your broker has in their record books that you're holding it so the those wouldn't be in your name and because they're technically in your account at your broker they're still tradable right but right. if you want them in your name you would direct register your shares. Right, AST. Your name register. would show up in AST, yes. but it would now not be through a broker, so you wouldn't be able to trade it. Then you'd have to send it back to a broker, which would take weeks, and this whole thing will be over and done with by then. So transferring to AST is not a great idea. I was going to transfer a certain smaller portion just so I knew that I had that locked in, but either way, they owe me next for the shares. Seem I've like got all the proof as well as you should all the print screens on what you own. Yeah, and we've we've seen a couple people who have fidelity who um, who actually got their shares transferred over to AST and like the shares disappeared from their fidelity account and their name showed up at AST yeah. and they got an AST account. Yeah. So um, I think the overall consensus here is that uh, you can get the brokers who are really, really screwed. Um, you know, the likely among them TD Ameritrade. Um, those brokers uh, are not allowing people to to put it in their name. They can't. Because they really need people to sell these Only shares. Only 165 right, million shares, shares can be registered. Um, whereas there are other brokers. So if you get tied up in all that. that the rest of it, they're going to have to open up the market, such but there's going to have to be a deal offered. And We've got them right where we want them. That, um, that they prevent We've got them right where we want them. Well, like, the subscribe, is, pass this message on. And I understand. Don't well, panic sell if the markets open up that, soon. We're gonna find out or the if there, there's right, some offer or, or anything. And then that Nothing ever has to be done immediately. That's going to become public, and that's going to be shed to light. There's a lot of information on, that's going to be shed to light soon. Um, like, subscribe, waiting, pass this on. Go on to RBT, right brain Wednesday, trainers, Thursday, and do the same. Uh, go, go to Smokies, do the same. Go to Marines, do the same. Go to Terry's, do the same. Go to Alley's. Uh, that, at Trade um, Secrets, do the same. Go to Tony's at Market Move, do the same. You should be watching so all of these. You only have time to listen to one person, days, listen to me. I'm gonna, um, have it in front but of take everybody. a few seconds so, just to go on but, our channels uh, and hit like just so that the word that gets spread. I have at least three lies from both of those. Keep the uh, message spreading. We got ripped off, and we're not going to take it, and we're going to get our money. Thank you. have changed 